It looked good. Hi, Jim Bell uh, from uh, Lynchburg, Virginia, here at uh, the Pig Fest in Lakeland, Florida. Just got done enjoying some sauces, seven different types of sauces, all unique in their characteristics and actually pretty tasty. Emil, Emil Hawkins. I'm from Lakeland, Florida. Uh, we just had some great sauces, uh, six good choices. Um, definitely variety, um, sweet, and some a little more sweet and heat. So definitely enjoyed the, the pickings. Oh. I'm, I'm Kay Berry. I'm from Lake Mary, Florida. And uh, I've been judging sauces. Well, um, I liked four. I liked one and four for different reasons. Yeah. Hi, I'm Bruce Downing from Memphis, Tennessee area, Germantown, Tennessee to be exact, judging sauces today. And I loved number one and number six. They were both excellent. They have a little heat with sweet, which I really love. Happy to be here. Hi, Claudia Zeller from Summerfield, Florida, judging sauces. And I really like number one and number three because they had a little bit of heat to them. Hello, John Zorovchin from Akron, Ohio, Lakeland Pig Fest in Florida here. We just judged sauce. I enjoyed one and four with a little bit of heat and a little bit of sweetness. Hi, my name is John, and uh, I just had some different examples of swamp soup here. First had a, some soup, then some uh, looks like crawfish mac, uh, mac and cheese. Had an interesting, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it was uh, it was very good. It was uh, Cinnabon <laughs> with pork and uh, very interesting. It was enjoyable, very different than what we're used to here. Yeah, vegetables, uh, um, sausage, cabbage, carrots. It had a very good uh, savory uh uh, flavor and then the last one was also a type of mac and cheese with uh, steak and it looked like it was either fish uh, with it as well it was very good thank you okay. this one. who you are and what you ate all right guys greg um <clears throat> we had a soup a swamp soup it was glory first right? Tomorrow is no names. Tonight is names. Gotcha. Okay. This is Greg Gordon. Um, I had a swamp soup. This was, I uh, believe, uh, crawfish, macaroni and cheese. Uh, and I'm not sure what this is either. It was, it was very interesting. It was very good. Uh, and we had a, a seafood mac and cheese. It was pretty good also. Okay. Names of my name's Lisa, and uh, we had the swamp soup tonight that has sausage, cabbage, uh, carrots, and you know the onions and pepper thing. It was really good. Um, um, then we had um, mac and cheese with uh, crawfish, and um, it was good. Would have liked a little more crawfish, you know, but um, it was a little thick too. But it was tasty. The third item was the um, uh, like a cinnamon roll pulled pork thingy, and um, it looked interesting, and it would taste just as interesting, but on the positive side, it was really good. Then we had a, uh, a plate of like lobster, bacon, and filet mignon. I guess all the all the right things in the right bowl. It was really good. The mac and cheese was really good too. So this was a very interesting uh, anything but sampler. <laughs> I don't have a plate. <laughs> but you can talk about what you ate. Our first entry was swamp soup with cabbage, carrots, sausage, and spices. I thought it could have had a little bit more flavor to it, and mine was a little bit on the greasy side. Our second entry was mac and cheese with crawfish. Uh, which the presentation was pretty, but I thought that the mac was a little bit on the, the thick, dry side. 
Our third entry was a cinnamon roll with pulled pork and a glaze, some kind of glaze on it. It was a combination between a sweet and uh, the meat, and it, it was interesting. Uh, the presentation was pretty. Uh, the fourth entry was mac and cheese with lobster, bacon, and a slice of uh, look like tenderloin or some kind of beef that was very good. Um, that was my, my favorite entry. I enjoyed it. Ditto. <laughs> Which was your favorite? My favorite was was the uh, soup, the swamp soup. Uh, next to that was the macaroni uh, and lobster. That was very good. The cinnamon roll uh, with the pork did not have a good taste combination, uh, and, and that's sort of the way I see it. I want to right. How you doing? I'm Tony Baroni, one of the judges here at KCBS. Uh, we had hmm? oh from uh, Pinellas Park. And uh, we had uh, three choices here today, and uh, we, we uh, liked uh, number two the best. It was a cheesecake with a pecan and bacon uh, frosting. I'm John Coghill. I'm from Winter Haven, Florida, and I liked that one the best. Number three. Number three, far and away. I'm Danielle Locke from London, Ontario, where it's really cold, and they were, it was hard to differentiate because they were all so absolutely delicious, but I really like that one as well. And I'm Tom Ulrich from uh, Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina at the present time, and uh, everything was really good today. We're down here in Lakeland Pig Fest, and uh, I also liked, uh, I believe it was a banana and strawberry shortcake. It was excellent. So what do you want to know? Who you are? Where are you from? Gil Pearson, Summerfield, Florida. And then you everything, I ate everything. No, <laughs> I filled myself up. But the best on, on my plate was the uh, strawberry shortcake or whatever it is. Okay. It's very excellent. I'm Jody Harris from Lake City, Florida. And had the same thing as the other guys. My favorite was the maple praline cheesecake. Thank you very much. Who's going to read the oath off to us? So please stand and raise your right hand. Okay, let's get 2020 started right. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively. To objectively and subjectively. Evaluate each barbecue meat. Evaluate each barbecue meat. That is presented to my eyes. My nose, my nose, my hands, my hands and my palate. my palate. I accept my duty to be, duty to be an official 2020 Lakeland Pig Fest certified barbecue judge. Everything I just said. So the truth, so justice, justice, excellence of barbecue, excellence of barbecue and, the and the American way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. My favorite <coughs> was number one <coughs> and number <coughs> number three <coughs> and number five were somewhat uh, a little on the tough side. And the the sauce uh, was sort of hard to judge. They were the sauce itself was fairly evenly. Um, I thought was fairly evenly uh, distributed, and uh, I, I would I would uh, it, it it really for me it really came down to the the differences were the were the tenderness of the meats. The taste was good on most all. Okay. 
One and two were very close. My least favorite was five. Um, it was dry and it was too spicy for my palate. I enjoyed almost all of them. Uh, one, two, five, uh, I sort of liked. Uh, number four was tender, but it had a different kind of taste. And number three was uh, up there, but not quite as good as the other ones. Um, my favorite was uh, probably number three. Um, one was one was good. Uh, number five, um, very hard to chew through the skin. Had to saw it through. Um, but all in all, it's a good 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 round of chicken. Uh, one and two on my plate were excellent. Uh, number two, very juicy. Both were very moist. Three, a little more smoke, uh, which was good. Uh, number four was uh, probably the laggard of the bunch. Uh, could not bite through the skin at all. And the fifth one uh, was an interesting cut, had some interesting spices on it, but, but I liked it as well. We had some, some very good chicken, not excellent chicken. I didn't have a triple nine on any of them, but I'm very close. Uh, number one, tenderness was exceptionally tender. Number two's flavor, uh, and again, one and two, I think, were the two best. Uh, two had particularly good flavor. Uh, four was, again, difficult to eat is probably the nicest way to say it. And five was uh, different. It's a little unusual, some different uh, rubs or spices, and uh, certainly not a leader of the table. But two was my favorite, and one was right behind it. Welcome to the 24th Lakeland, Florida Pig Fest barbecue contest. Um, we just got finished with the ribs, and they were a very, we're doing the pro side, so this is a very good uh, entry of ribs. Good, but not perfect. Um, rib number four, number one had a very good flavor to it. Um, oddly enough, um, it was a little bit on the dry side, a little bit on the tough side. Uh, number two was the same. It was had a really good flavor to it, but it too, the meat was kind of tough. Uh, it was clean off the bone, but the meat was tough. I don't know, it just could have been the particular pig it came from. Uh, number three was also a good flavored rib, but again, it was a little bit on the dry side, even though it had a pretty clean bite on it. Rib number four, um, if you can look on the plate there, it, it was a very good rib. It tasted wonderful, but it was very, very tough. It was... Um, uh, it could have been cooked a little longer and got a little more tender. Uh, rib number five was just like the top three. It was a good tasting rib. Um, had a little funny fruity taste to it, but uh, it was a good tasting rib. But again, the meat was a little bit dry and tough, uh, even though it had a good clean bite. Hi, my name's Tony. I'm from Pinellas Park. I, uh, I enjoyed rib number one also, and I agree that a few are more dry. Hi, my name is Dave Hawkins and I'm from mid-Illinois. This is my 13th year up at PigFest and I guess I would uh, concur with my previous two reporters and say I think they hit it spot on. It was a nice presentation of ribs. It's pretty uh, interesting to eat the uh, good quality food that these pros cook up here and we really enjoy coming up to PigFest and enjoying the work that these, these uh, men and women do. Dan Jones from Devonport, Florida. And I also agree with my, my judges. I am interested in what base sauce they used on that last one. I did notice that fruity flavor, but I feel like I recognize the base also. And, um, yeah, a good group of ribs. Everything's pretty much been touched on. Number two, I think, overall was the best one I had on my plate. Uh, my number two had a lot of moisture to it and good flavor. Number five left a little bit of an aftertaste. Not sure exactly what it was. No comment. I'm sure it's all after. One, two, three, four. Which one, one you two, like three. the best? All right. Oh, am I just speaking? Oh, okay. 
I really like this one. Number three had lots of flavor and uh, nice consistency as well. Which one did I like the best? Um, I liked entry number three. Um, I thought the flavor was great and the uh, texture and consistency was perfect. They nailed it. Which was your least? Um, my least, I think, was entry number two. I felt that the uh, sauce really overpowered the flavor of the meat and it was also a little bit dry. Oh, if you're brand new, you got to. I can't. <laughs> oh, my God. They were all delicious. I can't, I can't do that. I don't remember that. Can't remember? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Especially from Michigan. <laughs> you're up. Okay. The categories here, brisket at uh, Lakeland Pig Fest. Uh, I had zero favorites on this. <laughs> Uh, they're all about the same. The favorite one that I had was number one. I thought it was done pretty well. Could It could improve on the uh, cooking time if it was a bit long. Uh, the one that I hated, the, uh, didn't like the least or was the least was number three. I think that was very overdone and uh, very dry. My favorite was number one. I thought that it was pretty good. And my least favorite would have been number three. I thought that was very dry. Big Fest 2020, uh, number one was uh, the favorite. And again, number three was a little mushy. Probably the reason why they cut it up a little bit. So it was a little, little overcooked. Uh, Lakeland Pig Fest. So number one was my favorite. Uh, just good all-around flavor and uh, hit the tenderness right. Least favorite was number three. Uh, parts of it were dry and parts of it were overcooked, just kind of a little bit mushy. So, uh, Lakeland Pig Fest 2020. Uh, my favorite was number one. It was very tender. Uh, my least favorite was number three. Again, there was parts that were mushy, parts that were really dry. <laughs> 